Good morning, happy quilters. Welcome to Monday Morning Quilting Quickies here at Pine Needles Quilt and Sew. Today I'm going to talk about two of my very favorite rulers, Nifty Notions Half Square Triangle and the Nifty Notions Quarter Square Ruler. Together, these two rulers make the flying goose. Once again, I know there's lots of ways to make a flying goose. This way, you can do it without pinning, you can have perfect, without trimming, flying geese just about every time. For the demonstration today, I have cut five and a half inch strips. I gotta tell you about these strips because it's pretty cool. These fabrics come like this in many colors, and guess what? Five and a half inch strips. So that's what I used. Of course, you can use your strips in whatever size you want from one inch all the way down to all the way up to eight inches if you'd like. So when we have a flying goose we always have the goose which is here and this is the sky. So we have the goose and the sky. So first of all I am going to cut the goose out of the dark green fabric. And as we start to cut we have to make sure that we can read nifty notions we line up the five and a half inch line at the bottom here as close as we can to this edge so we don't waste fabric and the blunt tip is up here at the top. And we're simply going to make a cut this way and then we'll make a cut this way. This is a waste piece or you can repurpose it for a half square triangle. So now that we have one cut, we're simply going to turn our ruler over like this and we're going to make the second cut. Now this time the blunt tip will be at the bottom of our fabric and our five and a half inch line on our ruler will be at the top of our fabric. So once again we're simply going to cut. Now we have two goose units ready to go. Now for the sky that is on each side of our flying goose. I'm going to use this lighter colored fabric and what's important here is that we have to have two pieces of fabric and we have to put them right sides together because we have two pieces of sky with every one flying goose and we you will see that it's important that these blunt tips both go to the top. If we cut them all, all, the, all along the same we won't have a matching pair. So I'm going to line these up right sides together and with this half square ruler again as we start we're going to have to be able to read nifty notions from the front. We're going to line it up along this edge and the five and a half will be right up here. Make sure this is square with the bottom and we're simply going to cut this and then we're going to turn our ruler over like this and cut the next piece. This little tip has to be hanging off the bottom. The five and a half inch line has to be at the top. And then we will just cut that. And we can go right down the row, cutting, 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 cutting for as many as we need. So when we go to put these together, we have two sky pieces and one goose piece and it will go together like this. When we take this to our sewing machine it's very important that our goose flies to the right. So as you're sitting at your machine the goose needs to be flying this way. So here's his head and these are his wings. We need to turn this right side together on the top. It's very important that we match up this and this and you will begin sewing at this end and sew up to this end. Then when you put the third piece on, you're just going to finger press this open and again we're going to lay this on top and it's very important that this will match together up here at the top. Have you ever had the points kind of one is here and one is there? If you match these up at the top and you start sewing from the top to the bottom, these will come out perfect every single time. So here is one big block 
that I have made out of those flying geese and simply these are five and a half inches and I just put a five and a half inch square in the middle. If you would like your own downloadable copy of this cute little quilt, you can get it on our website. There will also be posted a step-by-step -step tutorial on our blog spot on how to make this fast and fun and fabulous flying geese quilt. So that's it for today. Join us next Monday for Monday Morning Quilting Quickies. Have a great day, everybody. Mm -hmm.